Hey, it's Dina Tollefson and welcome to my studio. I'm so glad to have you here today. Uh, today's topic is going to be really great and um, I want to just say thank you for joining me. I'm, I'm so pleased that you're here. So, um, and if you'd like to uh, join in on the chat, I would love to interact with you. And um, if you would like to just be quiet, you know, that works too. That's, that's all really good. So what, um, what today's topic is, is it's gonna be about uh, business cards and marketing materials for artists. And uh, when you talk about business cards, there are different, uh, different approaches. One approach is, um, this is the approach that I use, is I have my cards, um, and I'll just go ahead and hold one of them up. I have my cards professionally done um, through, uh, and I've used Vistaprint and I've used Zazzle. And another approach, and I have done this too, and I'll be going through that with you today, is, uh, oh, and thank you for joining, by the way. Um, the, other, the other thing I'll be showing you is how to make your own cards. So I'll, show, I'll talk with you about uh, what to put on your card, um, why you would want to have a business card, um, how to design it, what to include, what to leave off. Sometimes what to leave off of the business card can be just as important as uh, what you put on. Um, and then the other thing to talk about would be like little accessories. Uh, what kind of things that you can um, that you can use with your cards, who you might give your cards to, and why it's super important to have those business cards. So, so let's get started. All right. So I want to talk a little bit first about um, about the cards themselves. So, a business card really is just uh, your calling card. So what I do on mine is I have on the back here. I've got um, oh hey art art mystique. Um, yeah, you can design your own also. You can design your own um, card and you can put uh, your original art on it. You can put yourself on it. A picture of yourself is always a really great thing to include. So um, I'm gonna just uh, start out by just, I'm gonna, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me stick this Kleenex box on here and see there. That way that'll hold it really well. <laughs> that way I don't have to actually hang on to it and it will focus a little better. And Art Mystique, how are you doing, by the way? That's great, okay. All right, and so um, so how I do my business cards is on the back of the card, I will have a close-up, because my work is really super heavily textured, I'll put a close-up of uh, one of my paintings on the back, and then on the front of the card. So you can, when you have your cards made, you can either do them as one-sided or two-sided. I try and take advantage of that back side and figure, you know, people usually look on the back of it too. So you're great and you just finished a painting. Okay, okay, excellent, excellent. So, uh, and I'm, are you gonna be posting that painting out on YouTube? I wanna, I'll be uh, looking to see what you've got when you, when you post it. Um, so, so on these business cards, what uh, it's important to do is the most important thing on that is your name. You want to definitely put your name, and if you are using, um, for example, a an alias or some other thing like that, a nickname, something else like that, try and include that. So maybe you're going to be like, I'm the mysterious painter, and then it's also nice to have your actual name because that way, hey Brenda, you got it posted. It's a watercolor cat in polygons. Oh, oh, that sounds neat. That sounds super neat. And hey, Brenda, good to see you, by the way. Um, so, so on your card, uh, if you have, for example, a nickname or you're going by a nickname uh, when you're painting, it is a good idea to put your actual name, your full name, first name and last name, so that way when people are talking with you, um, they know how to get a hold of you and uh, or what to call you when they speak with you. And the other nice advantage of doing that is that the... Um, in case you ever change your nickname, then your um, your regular name should always be hopefully staying the same. So uh, what I do with mine is I also have like a little, what I'll call like a little teaser or a little description. Um, and mine says contemporary colors to oil paintings. I include my address, I have my studio phone number and my cell phone number, and then I have my email and my website. Now when you're doing your business cards, you can put many different things on your card. I'm, I have a photo of uh, me with my work. Um, that's always a good thing. When you give your card uh, to someone, it's very important that you somehow identify 
what it is that you're doing or, or what it is because people will collect business cards and then they're gonna now and I'll just grab a piece of paper I'm gonna write this on here so the things you want to include um, when people collect business cards if they don't have some way of knowing who it is or what it is that that is on the card then they might be like oh I have this card and I don't remember who this was so a super important thing is that you have your name which is first and last you can put a middle initial if you like but um, but it's uh, it's just super important that you have and thank you also thank you for everyone who's joining and any um, I appreciate any likes that you give that's always a, a nice thing too um, so first and last name are important and then what you need to have so that the just is just the bare minimum you can add more on top of this but you need to have some type of an email address and hey art journey with swap uh, swapna how are you and I'm glad to see you okay so your email address so you have to have your name and that could be a nickname also if you have a nickname uh, so your email would be so they can contact you and then optional would be anything like your address your mailing address or how to get a hold of you that way uh, your cell phone number Um, any kind of um, info about what you do so info about your art so let's say for example I was a fiber artist or a glass artist something like that uh, then what I could do is I could say um, you know here I've got contemporary colorist oil paintings on mine I could say something like um, oh I'm um, oh it's good to hear that you're doing well yes and it's uh, I guess um, it's probably late over by you right now the time is probably late late in the day over here by me it's only let's see almost one o'clock so um, so information about your art that is optional to put on there uh, now going back to website let's say for example you don't have a website what could you put there instead well you could put your um, your personal website if you have that definitely put that there but you could also put uh, your Facebook your YouTube your Instagram snapchat anything like that you can include those of course on your card so people know uh, how to find you where to find you that kind of thing but um, oftentimes why you might be giving a business card is because either someone has purchased your art or you have met someone let's say that you met someone um, you know anywhere it's just about 10 o'clock oh yeah that is late that is late um, so uh, so your your business card uh, when you let's say that you go to a party and you meet someone and they find out that you're an artist what's always a nice thing to do is and I'll show you what I've got here hey art life Good to see you. I saw you yesterday on um, on the stream with uh, with Eve. So I have a little these little inexpensive card holders. I carry this everywhere in my purse. But in case anybody asks, then I can just whip out my card and just hand them a card. And that's uh, super important to have that. And I also have. I'll show you this little card holder that I use. So this is a little. I think this was like seven dollars or five dollars, something like that when I ordered my business cards then um, I ordered them and I got them and just I can have like a little display like this so uh, let's say for example that you're doing a event where some of your art so hey Chrissy and hey pencil glad to see you guys and also thank you for everyone for your likes that you're giving um, it is important to have uh, these little holders and you can give these in case you have an art exhibit anywhere. Um, if you're in a, a, a art gallery, um, there's some kind of an art venue where your work is being shown, maybe a restaurant, a library, anything like that. Um, if, you if you get these little holders, which are easily available at like vistaprint.com, vistaprint, 
Vista.com or Zazzle. I have bought cards from both Vistaprint and uh, Zazzle, and wherever you're watching from, there will always be a place where you can buy your cards. Um, internationally, you can buy cards uh, locally. You can also have a print shop make up your cards. But, um, but these two places, for example, uh, Vistaprint and Zazzle, uh, it's super easy. All you do is I uploaded uh, a photo. I, you can choose your print, your font. Um, you can put you know anything on the back that you like. And typically, uh, 500 cards are going to be um, really reasonable. They'll say like 500 cards for say $10. And um, it's hard to beat that. Now the one thing is I usually don't ever get the least expensive option they have because I don't like the paper. What I'll do is I'll get, this is a thicker paper, and so I'll do an upgrade for the paper, and I'll do an upgrade for the, uh, the, uh, the surface of the paper. So I, I want to have something and I, um, Oh, and thank you for saying that. Yeah, see, and um, and I think that by having something in detail, because my work is super detailed, um, I can include on the back of my card something so people can see that Taoism texture that I'm doing. And uh, and you know, shoot, it's like the back card, back of the cards available. You might as well use it, right? And um, and so thank you, Swapna. So I'm gonna show you a little bit also of the other marketing materials that I use in addition to cards, and then we'll come back to the cards. But um, here is a uh, marketing brochure, or not a brochure, it's an oversized postcard. So thank you, Chrissy. This is an oversized postcard that I made um, when I was uh, exhibiting at a, uh, at a um, college. And then I had on the back, this was a two-person exhibit um, this was in uh, 2014, and so I had all the information on this, but what I did is I sent these out to uh, galleries that I was interested in, and I also sent them out to, um, let me get my, thing over here, oh, my envelope. You can, you can, when you order the cards, and I ordered the cards from the same places, um, okay, and Chrissy, thank you, and, and uh, I appreciate that you're going to watch the replay. You're so awesome. And thanks, you guys, and thank you for all the likes, too, by the way. Um, so this was a card that I designed, and this is a painting, a large uh, triptych um, that I had. Um, let's see here, what size is this? 48 by 72, so a very large painting. Uh, this painting ended up uh, being purchased by a... Um, a, um, and then I had to add additional panels. They wanted the painting to be 10 foot wide, so it was like the largest painting I'd ever done. But this, um, um, a Genesis Hospital in, um, I guess, I guess Rock Island, I think Rock Island, Illinois, they ended up uh, purchasing the painting. But anyway, these cards. What you can do is you can then get an envelope like this, and I'll just order the envelopes that they. Uh, when you when you get these marketing materials like these oversized postcards then you can just include those and then you just pop one of your business cards in there because what happens is if if somebody uh, sometimes people will you know they might not hold on to the card but they may hold on to your business card and what is on here you see I have my um, email address but all the rest of the information is really about the venue and it's about the painting that's shown. And so having the actual card, then they can see, oh, here's how I can get a hold of the person, here's their address and their website, and then their, most importantly, their email. So if they wanna get a hold of you, then they've got that information. And I'll show you a couple other cards that I did. So here's one I did for Canyon Road Contemporary Art, who represents me in Santa Fe. And um, this was a two-person exhibit that was done in uh, 2017 with a fellow artist of my uh, fellow artist, Carrie Reeve. She does a sculpture. And then here's another one. Um, this was a, my solo exhibit at uh, Canyon Road last year. And uh, that was, um, so I've got the information. So you can include um, the information about the venue, uh, the name of the gallery, the name of the exhibit, and then if it's a solo or a group show, and then if there's an opening reception, in this case there was an opening reception, 
and so um, and then how long and I did a painting demonstration and then I was there on site and then I have information about the painting on the other side and then information here about the gallery but you'll see that there's really no information on here about about me or how to get a hold of me so if I send this for example to a gallery the only way that they're gonna know how to get a hold of me if they're interested in representing me is through this uh, information that I have on the business card so that is super important that you that you get that and I'll show you one last uh, card that I did um, this was Edelman Fine Art uh, the gallery that represents my originals in um, San Diego and so this was a group exhibit and it was just a thing um, showing uh, a little bit about you know the dates that are being be held and then the gallery information but um, but again you can see I don't have really my website or anything else that's listed here this is just really all about the venue so that's why the card it's all about the card and then these cards again these cards are really once you have them made and a little template made up they're um, they're really easy to reorder uh, or you can just make a new one each time and then the other um, this was through, I guess this was, is this Zazzle? This one is Zazzle. I think this one is Vistaprint. I had some re return address labels made up. So anytime you have an opportunity to put your art on the, um, you know, on somewhere and, and you're essentially uh, building your brand, but I'm using the same font everywhere. And then I've got, uh, is what I'm using also on the cards and then on the I'm uh, including some of my art so here's that and then another one so that way when I'm putting for example on the envelope so I can brand it in different ways I can put and I'll just put one of them on now I can put an address return address here like so and then and then inside is going to be my card and then a show card. So this is the uh, what I'll put in when I'm doing some materials. If there's a gallery that I have my eye on that I'm hoping might represent me, then what I'll do is uh, over the years, or a matter of months or years, depending on how long I'm following them, um, I'll be sending them things like if I have a new show coming up or something like that. So, so back on the cards. Now that we've talked about um, how to do the cards, so Okay, okay, Pencil, I'm glad this has been helpful, and um, Swapna, hugs and kisses to you. Um, pencil, I am glad to hear that, because, uh, you know, you need to get your little pencil logo going on a card, and you can, now I'm going to show you how you can use your own art, so let's, um, let's get that out here. I'm going to show you um, what you can do if you wanted to even, a person uh, does not even have to go and go on to a computer and do this. You literally can do this also just individually and one by one. And then the thought might be like, okay, if I've got a printed one, why might I also want to have one that's made by hand? Well, um, you can see that the one that's made by hand is gonna be so much more personal and it's gonna be unique and individual. And it's sometimes nice if you have, let's say that a collector bought your work or you had somebody do something super nice what's really nice and a wonderful gesture is that you can make your own business cards now I just did this as an example say so this was a, a note from the last thing I did but I um, just this was watercolor paper and I literally just cut it out the size of, uh, of a standard business card and um, and then that's just a quick note we should talk about what is a standard business card size? So let me get my notes back out, or the paper back out here, and I'll just jot this down here. So uh, what you wanna do is when you make your cards, make them for whatever country you're gonna mostly be doing your business in, you wanna make your cards uh, go in that size. So in um, Canada and in the US, so here this, here's a standard. So um, U.S. and Canada is going to be 3.5 inches times 2 inches. And that is also known as 89 millimeters 
times 51 millimeters. So that is the standard size. And the reason I recommend that you use the standard size is, first of all, they're less expensive to, to um, buy or to make. But when people get it, they'll recognize it like, oh, that's a business card. You can also get, um, like for example, in the U.S., you can get squares, you can get kind of long skinny ones, that type of thing. But I recommend that you stay with your um, standard size just because it's, it's more recognizable then. Um, in Australia, the standard there is, uh, let's see, I've got my notes here, 90 millimeters. times uh, 55 in Japan and you can see that each country kind of has their own standard of what they're using for their sizes Japan the, the size is 91 millimeters by 55 mi millimeters pretty close to Australia um, in uh, Russia and Israel here's Swapna with uh, I guess uh, in India and Mexico. The size there, the standard there is 90 millimeters by 50 millimeters. And then um, in, the, uh, in Europe and in the UK. So pencil, this is your size here. So uh, UK and Western Europe. The standard business card size is going to be um, 85 millimeters by 55 millimeters. And again, if you go to a local printer or um, if you have them done, um, you know, online, then they'll take care of those sizes. But it's just kind of interesting to see, you know, what sizes are out there. So back to these little cards. So all I did here is I just cut out. So I had my um, business card and then I just cut out let me grab my little paper here I just drew with a pencil drew along and drew the the size just on this is just some arches 140 pound of uh, paper oops there goes my ruler Okay, so, and if you don't have a business card, then you can actually go ahead and measure it out. So this is three and a half by two inches. Each of those are three and a half by two. So here's a standard business card size. There's three and a half by two inches, otherwise known as 89 by 51 millimeters. But you can use, you know, you can use little templates and all that kind of thing and get really fancy with your, with your sizes. Now there's another way, the way that I did it, yeah, you've got 85 by 30, yeah, okay, so pencil, you're gonna need 85 millimeters by 55 millimeters. You've got 35, right, uh, 55 is what you want. Did I write 35 on your paper? Okay, no, sorry, 85, yeah, 85 by 55 is what you'll need pencil. Okay, so um, so what you wanna do here is, uh, you, you can do like what I did just for this little demo is I had just some watercolor paper. You can see where I cut it right there. Where does this guy go? Like that. So I had just a little scrap of watercolor paper and then I cut the shapes out and then did the, obviously you're not gonna do it out of scrap because you're gonna give it to someone and you want it to be nice. Okay, good pencil, thank you. Okay, and, um, and so what you do is you can just cut that shape out. I just cut it out, I drew with a pencil. A pencil, see, pencil I drew just with a pencil around on the back of the card, and then just cut it out with a scissor. You can also do, if you have a, um, if you've got a, uh, what do you call it, um, paper puncher. Let me get the little paper puncher out. Where have I got him? You can also take these and make a little, um, if you want to make like a little, these are just handy if you want to make like a gift card, include something on a gift, just a little punch, and then you can put a ribbon or a string through there, and you can write whatever you like, but it's kind of a neat little thing to include something that you made, because uh, we as artists, uh, we have something that other people don't have, and that's some creativity to make something that's uh, beautiful or artful, and uh, people do appreciate getting something from us 
that is going to be done by hand. So these handmade cards, what I did here is I just uh, taped this down and I used uh, the um, Hey Madonna. And um, okay, so Art Mystique, you've made bookmarks for business cards that way. They went over quite well. And it's just cut in a different size. And exactly, exactly. That's exactly how you do it. And so um, I'm going to just take the tape off. So what I did was this is a masonite board, and then I used my watercolors. Let me just grab my watercolors out here. And I taped off the edge. Now you have to decide when you do these if you like the look of a white edge. I kind of like the look. Or if you like the look of the thing where the design goes all the way to the end. If you want it all the way to the end, you can still tape it off and then cut it down to size later, but that's just gonna be a personal decision. I personally kinda like this little edge going here. So if I'm doing this now, how I would do if I was doing a business card, or I could even do it as a thank you. So let's say that I had somebody, um, let's say that I'm gonna write a thank you to Madonna. So I would just write, thank you, Madonna. Let's say Madonna bought a painting or Madonna did something special and when I give Madonna a little extra something, a little hello and a little something on something handmade and then I would just go ahead and sign it. But it can be just like a little, just as simple as a little thank you card. You can also, you know, they can be little place cards, that type of thing. But, but when you do it like this, let's say I was uh, gonna make my business card like this. So I'm gonna make sure to write very legibly and then I'm gonna say, I need to say what it is that I'm doing. So um, I need to say, for example, that I am an artist. I could say I'm an artist or an, I'm gonna be more specific and I'm gonna say contemporary colorist as my uh, paintings. All right, and so then, yeah, Madonna, yes. Okay, so, um, so let's say then I've got that. So now what I can, what I need to put on is I need to put that bare minimum of what we need for a, the bare minimum is always your first and last name and a nickname if you have that, your email and your website. Now I added on here also um, a little bit of optional information about my art. That's what this would be, the contemporary colorist paintings. But I can put on here then, let's say I wanna put my email. So let me put that on there. And then I want to also put my website. And again, if you do not have a website, everybody likely will have an email. If you don't have a website yet, uh, then what you can do is you can put your, um, your Instagram handle, your Facebook account, you could put your YouTube, anything like that. And um, yeah, so pencil, that's, um, I found that by doing that and following up with people, they seem to really respond to that. Another thing that I'll do is I also have um, greeting cards. I don't, I didn't bring an example of a greeting card here, but I have greeting cards made up with my art and on the inside it's just blank inside. And then a lot of times I'll write a, a handwritten note um, if a collector buys something. When the gallery sells paintings for me, I typically do not know who buys them. They're just, they just tell me, well, this sold or whatever. I don't, I don't ever know. So, um, so sometimes I'll know a collector and then I might, you know, send them a note, but I'm always careful to not infringe on the gallery um, because I, uh, it's important. That relationship that they have with the client is important and I don't want to uh, circumvent that. But these are for things like, uh, let's say I have a commission or something like that. Pencil, you're talking about, um, you know, if you wanted to maybe even get, you know, draw uh, your, or, or paint your pencil in on your logo, you can do a thing like I did here where I'm just including only, you know, just a picture and then something on the back. But let me show you what we can do also. Like, let's say, for example, you have made a painting it, it does add a personal touch. And that is, I think, that what people really respond to. Because once someone has bought your work before, 
um, they, they've done studies and they say that if someone has bought your paintings before, they are 40% more likely, and I, don't, I can't quote the name of the, of the study, but I had heard this, I don't know, maybe five years ago, that people are 40% more likely to buy your work again. And you want to really think about that. Um, once someone has bought uh, either two or three of your works, then you consider them your collector. And so let me show you what you can do. This is just a little, um, a little kind of a little sunflower, a very abstract little sunflower edge I made on here. But let's say, for example, you didn't want to change, um, you know, put anything on the front and you wanted it because maybe it's dark colors or maybe the ink wouldn't show up well or you just didn't want to uh, disturb it and you wanted to give your collectors maybe just a, a one of a kind little tiny little painting. So what would be very important is that you sign it. So I'm going to put my regular signature right there, just very, very tiny. I'll just put that right up there. Get your signature right, uh, signature right up there. And then on the back, you can either write, you know, thank you, or you can write, um, you know, your business card information, uh, that kind of thing. So you can get all of that detail on a white thing that's easy to read on the back. So, uh, but maybe you're gonna say, you know, hey, thank you so much, um, you know, for the commission painting that you, that you sent me, and um, this is a little card as a thank you, a little mini painting as a thank you. And I'll just say that these little mini paintings, you can just kind of do these really rapidly and they're a lot of fun. Um, if you like to do thumbnail sketches, we talked in a previous uh, live stream about how to do a thumbnail sketch. And uh, what's kind of fun about these, like uh, just these little guys, is you can do little compositions and they're just fun and, and hey, if they don't come out well, just you know, don't use them or throw them away or you know, whatever. So. All right, let me grab my watercolor, and I'll just show you how easy um, it is to just make these little abstract cards. I've got some water. Let me get these all these other materials out of the way. And here's this is just the just a bucket of uh, of for water. I've got another little container here. And you could use a watercolor pencil. You could use uh, acrylic paint. Um, you could draw. Um, this could be done in graphite. Uh, however you like to do, however you wanted to decorate these little thank you cards or they could be business cards, uh, but it's really a marketing material. If you think about it, it's, it's just uh, as simple as that. Every time that you are doing this, you want to keep it within your brand or keep it uh, doing something that looks like your work. So for example, pencil, you'd want to be sure to you know, somehow include, if you can, if you're doing a, a thing, um, something and include your pencil logo, or if you're not using your pencil logo, then of course don't do that. All right, so let me just grab a little green. And you can just put and, and you know, just do literally abstractly whatever you like. Let's activate that. I kind of like when watercolor is kind of smushy and interacts with other things so just something you know boop 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 and then that card's done we could do another card I'll just do another um, sunflower over here let's get some petals going let's get a dark center And uh, let's make this, let's make this one. I'm gonna just run the water out here to wet this s section. But they can be literally just kind of, you know, abstract expressionist kind of feelings. Or you can spend a lot of, um, a lot of detail and you can really go in and, you know, make it super, um, Super detailed, super, you know, however you want it to look. Let's get a little darker color there. And then how about some blue out here? 
I like orange and blue together. And just nice and easy, just a little flowy thing. I'm gonna cover all my white spots. So thank you. So when we can just kind of make these, um, you know, whatever we, I'll have a request. What do you guys have a request for me to make? Uh, I'll do, the last one we'll do as a request. I'll just do a little heart over here. But be thinking what you want me to do for that one. Don't pick anything that's too hard for me though. We don't want to be stressful on a Sunday, right? <laughs> All right, so let's get, uh, but put your idea what you want me to do in this, uh, on this last one, and I'll paint whatever you guys come up with. Good little orange there. So you've made art trading cards. Um, the business card, well, thank you. And you know, Madonna, you can see how fast these things are to make. I mean, they're just like super duper fast. You know, boom, 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 and you're done. All right, now let's get a little bit of a, of a blue. Now what I'll do then is I'll let these, um, I'll let these dry, and we'll just do a really watery, loose background on this one. Let these dry and then come back, and when they're dry, then um, we can release the paper, or release the tape around there. Okay. Paint you, I'll paint a pencil. Okay. All right, I'll try it. I'll try it. It's a challenge accepted. Let's go back in with a little bit on this red one. Let's go back. Just deepen that color a little bit. Okay, pencil, I'm gonna try a pencil. All right, so now you can't tease me, pencil, if I if I don't make him well. I know he's got abs. Remember that. And then there's a point here, so he needs to come down into some kind of a point. And then there's a tip of the pencil. And then he has a very cute face. So he's got a big, whoops, I need a smaller brush here. He's got like a, don't worry. <laughs> And I'm running out of paper. See, I didn't plan out my pencil properly. But if I remember, he also has like some kind of a pink color. I think is, uh, I thought there was like his eraser maybe. There's like something pinkish up at the top. Something, is there something like, uh, we've got a little something up here for his eraser. All right, and then uh, what we can do is let's say that this was pencil's card, then you can just have something like pencil connoisseur. Let's see how we spell connoisseur. C-O-N-N, -N. if I spell it wrong, I can't do that. O-I-S-S-E-U-R. And then you could have, um, you know, email, is blah 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 and then um, you know you could do something like that and um, you could literally just kind of make it whatever you want so uh, so that's how those are done and then when these are dry then I'll just peel the paper off and then uh, and then it's good to go so all right and then here's again this the example of this so I hope that this has been um, fun and helpful and 
I hope that you guys will uh, go out and make some, these are little gratitude cards. I hope that you'll make some gratitude, call, we'll call it a gratitude card. Make some gratitude cards and um, have fun. That's uh, really just these little quick little things. They're just a fun little expression and they're a neat way to show your collectors that you care. You're gonna call it the Dina connoisseur. <laughs> I like that pencil, I'm gonna put that on here. The Dina connoisseur. <laughs> there we go. All right, you guys. Well, this has been wonderful um, chatting with you, and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. And so, um, and go out and get those cards. You know, it's uh, it's just a fun thing to do, and and um, and I think your business will grow with it. So, thank you so much, you guys. All right, and take care. And until next time, this is Dina, and hugs and kisses to 